Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about all 17 stages of Tomorrowland Music Festival in Belgium. The stage designs are just insane, and I'll share some videos I took while I was at the festival so you can see what they're like in real life. For those of you who are new to my channel, I'm Kind Candy. I travel the world attending music festivals and post festival vlogs, reviews, and tips right here on my channel. If you're into EDM or music festivals, please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my awesome videos. So Tomorrowland is this giant music festival that takes place in Belgium every year in July over the course of two weekends. It's one of the biggest and most famous music festivals in the whole world and the hype around it is massive. For good reason too, it's amazing in so many ways. Of course, one of the craziest things about the festival is that it has 17 stages. The Freedom Stage, House of Masks, Rose Garden, I still don't know how to pronounce this so don't make fun of me, Theatre Formidable, I can't, <laughs> um, Harbor House, Rave Cave, Cage, Arch, Tulip, Leaf, Euphoria, Atmosphere, Core, Garden of Madness, Organ of Harmony, and the main stage. Though I don't think the Moose Bar really counts as a stage, I don't even have videos or pictures of it. This is the map of the festival from 2018 so you can see all the different stages. There are so many, and it's a huge venue. Here's a photo of Tomorrowland from above. Some of the stages are cut off, but you can see just how massive the venue is and how far apart all the stages are from each other. You have to cross so many bridges and take so many detours, which is daunting, especially if you're like me and we're running back and forth all weekend. I really tried to see every stage while I was there, but I might have missed them. Even with three days, it's literally impossible to explore everything and see all the sets you want to see. The Freedom Stage is an indoor stage with huge LED panels that wrap from the stage area across the ceiling. It's two stories, so you can either enjoy the music from the main floor or the balcony level that run along the sides. Tokyo. I really tried my best to see all the stages at least once, but I guess I missed the House of Masks. It looks like it was pretty hidden far away in a small corner though. The Rose Garden stage is so cool, like it's a freaking dragon that actually moves and is right by the water. It's beautiful. <laughs> This is the stage I can't pronounce. It's a 360 degree design that actually rotates and plays music in all directions. To be honest, I didn't love this stage, the sound wasn't great, and that definitely might be the way they have the sound system set up. Harbor House is a small stage on the water. I didn't spend much time there, but I walked by it constantly all weekend and the music was great. And you can tell everyone was having a great time there. The Rave Cave is one of the most creative designs in my opinion. It's literally just a small cave with a very intimate and underground vibe. Cage is a small, dark, indoor stage which also has a very intimate and underground vibe. The Arch stage is true to its name. It's a bunch of arches. <laughs> this 
This is the tulip stage, although I don't think it looks anything like a tulip. I love the leaf stage, which is directly on the water, although it doesn't really feel like a stage to me. The euphoria stage is a pretty simple concept, like just a bunch of mushrooms, but I like it. Atmosphere is an indoor stage with an interesting lit up ceiling and LED that wraps around the whole internal area. The core stage is definitely one of the most unique stages at Tomorrowland, it being an actual jungle and all. You would never guess to find this place in Tomorrowland because there's nothing else like it at the festival. When you enter the stage area from the little bridge, it feels like you've entered a different world. She the Garden of Madness stage is another one right on the water. It's really beautiful to look at from afar, especially at night when it's all lit up. The Organ of Harmony stage, in fact, looks like an organ. It's like a small amphitheater, so there's a hill facing the stage that you can sit on to just chill and enjoy the DJ sets that way. of Tomorrowland are just insane. They change every year along with the new theme. The size of the stage is huge and the stage area is massive with viewing decks all around the amphitheater. at Tomorrowland are designed to have its own unique atmosphere and experience completely different from any of the other stages. Some are really small and intimate, and some are grand and over the top and crazy. It's one of the things that makes Tomorrowland so unique and so awesome. I did vlog my entire Tomorrowland 2018 trip, so you can see what it's like in real life, and I'll post a link to those vlogs in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome Tomorrowland videos, including helpful planning tips in case you're going. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching. Peace out, Girl Scouts.